moving on towards a second source of history that is records in stone inscription in ancient time many incident like achievements of kings writing of orders and treaties of other states were carved on stones or metal plates these metal plates and stone writings are known as inscriptions exist even today and are preserved in archives such as national archives of delhi now here children let's understand writing engraved on the stone surface is known as inscriptions right and then again now explaining you about the achievements of kings writing of orders treaties and states all these carved on the state <coughs> stones and metals they are all preserved in archives and archives means that the place which stores historical records they are all known as archives the third sources of history that is vessels ornaments and tools during excavations utensils stone tools and ancient ornaments are found which help us to know the history of ancient times based on the picture 1.4 gather information on similar objects found from an excavation site near your residence just as archaeologists do we too can know the history of ancient times from old coins stones inscriptions paintings and metal plates so now let's understand excavations what do you mean by excavations excavations means when they dig the part they find out the utensils and stone tools found in the buried mud now the sources of history to study of historical objects which help us to know about the civilization of ancient people use pot pans toys beads jewelries and clothes tools and weapons are known as archaeologists we now know that there are various sources from which we can get authentic historical information Let's collect the sources from which we gather the history of our town or village. Now children, when you find out the many historical manuscripts written on copper plates, bhojpatras, here you have many of the places where they are still having all these historical documents which you can find out. Yes children there are many more things for us which are very important for us to know they are the first point the sources of history what are the sources of history documents paintings ornaments toys coins inscription bhojpatras metal plates old buildings temples travel ages etc the second point stone inscriptions the writings which are carved on stones are known as stones inscriptions third point bhojpatras the bark of a tree on which books were written in ancient times are known as bhojpatras copper plates inscriptions on copper and tin are known as copper plates now next point carbon dating system is used by archaeologists to know the exact date and time of finding next archives places which is stored historical records are known as archives 